checkity checkity. Amazing. This is a disco, too. It's for us. Let me take a picture real quick. There we go. We have audio. We have video. And now I suppose it's time to die. I haven't played this game in a few months. And I wasn't good at it then, so... If anything's wacky with my audio, please let me know. Hey! Sick. Thanks. And yeah, backseat away. Uh, anyone is probably going to know how to play this better than I know how to play this. Hell yeah. Thank you for the words of affirmation. 
You matter. Amazing. All right. Ah. <sighs> I thought there were usually four people in this game. Maybe I'm being impatient. Okay, yeah, that's what's happening, I think. Oh, yep, I definitely spoke too soon. Like, Nia Carlson has gone through some uh, phases in life, and uh, I respect that. I'm out here supporting the uh, officially sponsored Sriracha t-shirt. Because this game is so spicy. Hey. Sometimes you gotta let it all hang loose. We have birthday cake. Uh, a grandmother's tablecloth and something that I didn't see quick enough to comment on. Uh, we are sipping on a Road Hazard IPA uh, that I literally spilt all over my desk five minutes before starting this. So I should say that we're sipping on the remains of the Road Hazard Hazy IPA. Yeah, it was uh, not ideal. That is uh, actually true. Uh, I have trouble with the length of my shorts versus the length of my underwear quite frequently. All right, how do I not die in this? Yeah, we're getting points already, everybody. We're reunited. I don't remember any of the controls either, so... Uh, yeah. Just kind of rock and roll with it. Yeah. What you got here? Huh? I can't help you open that. Just gonna make all this fucking noise? Come on. Yeah, I'm glad that the beer, like, barely missed my computer hardware. Uh, oh, shit. It plays music when this guy comes around? Get the fuck out of here. What is this shit? Oh, come on. I don't like this uh, heartbeaty business. Come on. Uh, it ain't much, but it's honest work. Oh, uh, that sounds bad. Hey! Cat-like reflexes. Meow. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Maybe not. Uh. Spoke too soon. Oh, look at that fucker out there. Running in circles. Oh, god. I can't talk. He's gonna come say hi to me. Oh, yep. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Nope. Uh-uh. Please go away now. <laughs> what the... F Who... Why? A full idiot mode. Oh, no. I'll take one for the team and run away. I think. Oh, shit balls. What is this? Uh, no! 
so many noises happening. Oh, this is Chin Strap Moby. Uh, it's a skin. When are they putting Moby in Fortnite? Certainly don't want to be on that hook. Listen, if the chin strap's good enough for Moby, it's good enough for me. Oh, God. He just. He stuck her up on that hook and just, like, hacked her guts out. That's just. Oh, my God. Come on. What is it with these old horror guys where they walk everywhere, but it's like double speed? This ugly ass mask? Come on. Damn. You're not wrong. Them chickens ain't gonna tend themselves, to be honest. Oh, damn. She got smacked. I don't know what to do about that. So I'm not going to do anything about it. I feel like I may not be the greatest team player. Up, oh, sorry. It's like they say, uh, if I don't save myself, how the hell am I going to save anybody else? Can I get an amen? Uh, all right. Next one's a great skill check. That's my eight ball corner pocket call out. Yeah, I said so. Please update the stream tags to expert gamer 100%. Got you, bitch. Amen. Amazing. He got a head hanging on his little uh, pylon or whatever the fuck that is. Is this one on? Yeah, it seems pretty on. Yeah, we're speed running dead by daylight. And if I'm lucky, I too will be dead by daylight. Why are you. Don't run into me. Don't. Are you griefing me, toboggan bitch? Come on now. Where are we going? What's wrong, Lassie? Did Timmy fall down the well? Extremely fast. Sonic the Hedgehog skin win. I'll put this... Oh, this girl always out here looking for treasure chests. This isn't the Legend of Zelda. Come on. Look, now we're gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Oh, the madness of it all. The humanity. This game's violent. 
My god. He's just taking that knife and hitting people with it. Haha, <laughs> dummy. Not gonna hit me. Nope. Not not this baldy. Oh, baby. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, I'm all the way over there. I still got two generators left. What are they even powering with these generators? I turn the generators on. None of the lights come on in these houses. Why do they need five generators to power them? Old ass door. This is Persona 6. Early access. Twitch perks. If I get killed, Atlas is going to block the cutscene. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that seems bad, I think. Oh, hey, thanks. Wow, teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks, haircut. Oh, God. Oh, my. My heart is racing. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't hit me with that knife, mister. Keep that thing away from me. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you're a mean motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna wiggle, all right. I'm gonna wiggle like you've never seen before. Yeah, this is Bob Vila's General Contractor, 2022. I wiggled as hard as I could. I was about to start singing that fruit salad song. Oh my god. I gotta fight off inanimate spider legs? What do I even do with this? Oh, I press the quick time events. Okay. Alright, little green man, come get me. I didn't do anything to help you, but, uh, that's because I didn't know how. Oh my god, you're a lifesaver. Press R2 to hold hands. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow! Look at that! Beginner's luck. Amazing. Oh, my God. You can't stalk the door. Are you spawn camping, my guy? No! Beta! Oh, you bastard! That's my friend! No, you can't just sit there with your stupid little knife. I bet that thing's not even- Oh, you can still hit me! Oh, fuck me. This is terrible. This might be the worst game ever. So close to victory, snuffed out. Just like- Oh, you little bitch! You evil bastard. I'm getting out of here. 
I will not. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Come on. Oh, I'd be weak. Oh, give me a break. Oh, eaten by the spider legs. What a mess. What a fucking mess. I'll be honest, uh, anywhere where I can find a Kmart, there's probably at least three skinwalkers in like a half mile radius. I don't know what you're talking about or who you're talking to. Oh, just re-Q now. In the face of failure. Well. I'm going to sit here by the fire. Yeah, I, I, I hesitate to wonder what lurks near the Super Kmart's in existence. God, imagine the shit outside of a Sears. Okay. Did we find a match? Did we find a match? Did we find a match? Don't know how to tell. Still says looking. Tell by looking and reading. Oh shit. It's a uh... place had like three lights that worked and it smelled really bad. Uh, that might just kind of be like uh, Ohio in general. Apologies to the Ohioans in the chat. Um, yeah, it's uh, I definitely snagged some wacky stuff at late stage Kmart, uh, as well as late stage Sears. But it was chaos for sure. I remember I bought a copy of Extermination on PS2 from Kmart years ago. The game that I constantly forget existed. And I remember almost nothing about it. Alright, we're loading in. Maybe I won't suffer such a horrific loss again. I can't take that kind of pain more than once. Just uh, saying a lot, considering I'm terrible at this game, so... Let's go! Oh, we got a team of three Dwights. Yeah, this is the move, huh? Okay, let's go, boys. It's Dwight City up on this bitch. Dwight City, bitch. Dwight, Dwight City, bitch. Okay, we're gonna follow this old guy. He looks experienced. Uh, my heart's already beating. Who's coming for me? Where are you? Oh my god, what is this? 
Oh, Jesus. My goodness. Oh, fuck me. Who, what, why, when, where? Oh, my God. Not off to a good start at all. Feeling terrible. That's right. I'm taking one for the team. We're going to call it distraction. Oh, you... Listen, can't we be bald in this together? Oh, I see you have some pins in your head. Hmm. Now you must come with me. I think that's stolen Baldy Valor. Oh, come on. We've only just begun. Did I just hear a harmonica? What is going on? No, I should just hang out on this hook, right? This is probably better. Oh, yeah. That's right. We Dwight's got to stick together. Uh, thank you. Literally, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I think I just pissed myself. In real life or in game? That's for me to know and for you to find out. Uh, where are we going? Oh, wow. Oh, look at you. There we go. It's the Dwight Trio. When three Dwights put their heads together, uh, we can repair a busted up generator in an old abandoned building while running from a bald person. I gotta be frank, I haven't been to enough Kmarts, I think. I think I, I, I think maybe, uh, does anyone remember service merchandise? Circuit City? Comp USA? Places where you could buy various big box PC games? Looking wistfully at the inner holdout of Baldur's Gate 2? Because you couldn't afford it? And your parents would send you to hell if you played Dungeons and Dragons. Relatable? Anyone? No? Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Dwight, but you're on your own. I'm fickle. Oh, yeah, let's run through the... the oh, we're... Oh, God, this is just an absolute shit show. Oh, this one's already done. Give me a break. Yo, Comp USA was dope. I bought a copy of Knox there. Does anyone remember Knox? Like, uh... ARPG in the Diablo days? Oh my god, you can't just chain a guy up like that. Take me to dinner first, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is an outrage. Oh, what is this bullshit? This is absurd. You can't just roll up on a bald man with your spectral chains and shove them in his ass? I'm calling HR. Well, I'm inclined to say things are not going well. It's the screaming that clued me into that. 
doctor enough. Oh my god. Deep cuts. Whew. All right. Maybe one Dwight is enough. Oh me, oh my, they're yelling again. They must be having a grand old time. Hmm, ominous whooshing. I don't really know. Oh, no, I know I'm not supposed to be near you. I know that's the point of this game. Oh, that's not a turn. Oh, my God. Oh, give me a break. Floating baldy. Thanobite looks like if somebody fell and landed head first in fucking cookie tin at your grandmother's house. There aren't cookies in there. That's the gag. It's always fucking needles. Everybody's old white grandma has a metal cookie tin filled to the brim with needles. Dwight, you're the real MVP. Brute cancer. Hmm. Oh, I hear that generator chug a lugging along. Did we already get that one? My man is running around with a cigarette in his mouth. That is honestly pretty fucking hard. Oh, what is this bullshit? Get out of here. No, I won't be having that. Thank you very much. Oh, oh my god. Come on. How annoying. Imagine being bold enough to name one of your uh, establishment's beverages Doctor Enough. It's like, yeah, we know it's not uh, it's not the greatest, but it'll get you there. How defeating. What am I picking up? What's this? They gave my ass a Rubik's Cube. Oh my god! I didn't even hear your bald ass sneak up on me. Come on. Oh yeah, this isn't going well. This is not going well. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, what is this? Oh, that seems not smart to do right now. Uh, is the vibe that I'm getting from that. Hmm. Oh, God. Blowing, floating. Got more belts than a fucking Kingdom Hearts character. Look at all that padding. We get it. You listen to typo negative. Oh, come on. Oh my god, Dwight, you've done it again. You slick son of a bitch. Default skin, Dwight, if we get out of this thing alive. Um... I'm taking you back to the old country, and we're getting hitched. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's it. It's it for me. Save yourself, default skin, Dwight. What a mess! I don't even have the wiggle in me anymore. 
Oh my god. What a mess. What a mess! For shame. Sacrificed. What can I say? Sacrificed. And for what? This is a goddamned outrage. I don't know what I'm supposed to do against floating ghost chains as an unarmed normie. I mean, how did this poor gentleman even find himself in this predicament? Change the skin? Is that possible? Hey, now you're on to something. Does this thing have rollback netcode? If it weren't for my ping, I could have escaped. I was three frames short of victory the entire game. Okay, all right. I have faith. I have faith in these folks. I think this is a this is a strong showing. I wish they could see me spin my guy. It just seems fun, you know? I like that. <clears throat> my god. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. What do we have? Ah, Grandma's tablecloth. Bag. And nothing. A winning combination. Yeehaw. At this point, just making noises while the game loads, as one does. So how's Monday hanging for everybody? It's Monday, right? feels like Monday. Kind of. Clearly not enough for me to know 100% that it is, but now that I've said it out loud, I'm pretty confident that it is, in fact, Monday. Uh, so, how is Monday? Alright, the Garden of Joy. The aptly named 
garden of joy. This is what we do here, right? Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. All right, we're catching on already. Oh, wow. I don't think the ground's supposed to do that. Mamma mia. I'm just going to creep on up here and roll through with the assist. So this time we're going to be team players. Uh, of course. Uh, wait, he's way over there. We're good, right? Like, he's way over there. Nice. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. Up. Oh, okay. We're even. Up. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Very bad. Extremely not good. Yeah. Now oh, you'll never find me. Third. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, come here. Oh, I don't have a med kit to help you anyway. I'm sorry. You just run and look really scared. That's uh, a thing you could do. Um, if somebody is around here, like the bad guy, he could chase me instead while uh, my teammate heals their bleeding, festering wounds. Bet something neat's in that house. All right, let's help this homie out. What's up? See, together we can make a difference. I think this is what they call being the change I want to see in the world. All right, trugging. That was supposed to be trucking and chugging. Uh, and I determined before it came out of my mouth uh, that those words would become one. Uh, now let's go away before we die of the pink floaty guy. Uh, oh no, I can't run there. The world has gone away. Well, well, uh, oh, okay. Come on, other Dwight. Let's go. Let's go. The scary floating thing is over there. Uh, so let's go away from there. Um, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm sorry, but I am. Um, oh no, they're carrying you and they're gonna put you on a hook or something probably. Yep, down there in the fucking basement. Who wants to be there? Oh my, oh God, what a nightmare. This is, uh, what a mess! All right. I got you. Us Dwight's got to stick together. I got you. I'm gonna be the Dwight of your dreams. Oh no. Oh, oh God. Oh shit. No. 
I tried. I'm so sorry. Oh, but I have to leave now. Oh, God. I don't know what to do in these situations. The stress is overwhelming. Hmm. Bro, what do you run? I, I'm not the bad guy. The fuck are you running away for? I thought we were in this together. Come on. Now I'm going to get all your experience points. Then I'm going to level up. That's a thing that happens. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Very nice. Yes. Just, uh group up and make noises together. That's uh, usually a decent way to handle these situations. And I have high hopes for it in this case. I'm going to go save this Dwight. <sighs> oh no! I'm too late! What are we fighting for? I'm going to this house now because I want to see what's inside. Okay, so it's a house. Is there anything cool in here? Not so much yet. The stairs. Oh, a staircase. I'm just gonna gonna cruise on up here. Uh, that's not where the lamp goes. Is that like a clapper lamp situation? I used to have a roof like this. A lot of debauchery on that thing. What's in this hole? Why can't I look down there? Ah, the red light room. This never... Never not scary. Okay. Honestly, kind of on a roll right now. I don't want to jinx it, but feeling pretty good. Oh, I say that uh, as I hear them uh, creeping up on me. Oh, but they're gone now. Not bad. Yeah, this is a solid crew. Finally. Finally some pros. Sick of carrying these games. Bullshit. All these great skill checks. I will get this generator running before I am hacked to pieces by this scary floating ghost thing. Oh shit! I spoke too soon. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, no, that seems bad. Oh, shit on my dick. Get out of here. There's only one left. But I escaped. Oh, you see me. Yeah, that's. Uh, I thought I was being cheeky, but uh, I am going to die for sure. 
Uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I am definitely going to die. Haha! -ha! Watch out for wood pallets. Number one serial killer stopper. Hey, they opened the door! I swear to God, if I die again after they've opened the door. No! Bitch! Please! Uh -huh. This is an outrage. You just gonna sit there and fucking whack me? I'm just hanging out with goddamn masking tape all over your head. What is that shit? You shouldn't be allowed to camp me being dead. Thatch. Oh, this is just not good for me. Uh, nope. Uh-uh. Bad. Very bad. Extremely bad and not good at all. Why do you have it out for me, tape face lady? Tape face man? Tape face friend? No. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Oh. Are these people gonna save me? Uh, because, nope. Nope, they're not. I'm gonna get stabbed to death by spider legs again. This is the truest, deepest form of pain. So close, yet so far. Two Dwight sacrificed for the greater good. I put things in my thing. That, yeah, that probably wasn't a sensible statement, but you know. Um, sure. Why not? All right. Well, we wait again. Will this be the game that I don't just get absolutely obliterated? Uh, survey says probably not, but alas, I shall keep on trucking. Just the way he peers into my soul. I give you like a like a cooler look, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sold on any of these, if I'm being honest. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter now, does it? All right. J 
Jeff Johansson is like the most older brother ass name I've ever heard in my life. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Jill Valentine of Resident Evil fame. Hey. Greetings and salutations. Yahiko underscore V tutor. An absolute delight to see you here on this evening. Bear witness to my many failures. That's a great question, and I should probably come up with something a little bit uh, more uh, tongue friendly. Uh, I just say, uh, no me mo me man, or no me mo me man, or no ma mo me man. I, I don't know. I created it as a username uh, out of an old username to uh, get off of certain search <laughs> searches that people were finding me on. Um, it's, I don't, it sounds way sketchier than it is. I just got tired of getting lurked by people that... Uh, or tracking me down on the internet. Which sounds, again, also way sketchier than it actually was. I can't think of a good way to express what I'm saying. But it was a palindrome, and I thought that was fun. You know, I had this on a solid state drive for the longest time, and I don't anymore because I needed to free up space. And as I'm sitting here, I don't really think it made that much of a difference for me. I mean, I guess online games and whatnot, so yeah, just kind of my logic in moving it around, but... Alright. Oh, wow, look at this. What luck. What camaraderie. Workers of the world unite. Sorry, Jill. Why, wh why are we running? Oh, that's why. You know what? Oh, no, I don't think I'll take one for the team. It seems too early. That seems, uh, foolhardy. Oh, God, you've decided I'm the one. Oh, you bastard. You smelly little bitch. Um. So, uh. Okay, he's over there, so I'm gonna go not there. Um. Seems to be in the the objective of the game to be away from that thing. Where did the creators of this game come up with so many spooky, scary kind of guys? Okay. 
So what I'm gathering is that if I uh, repair these generators, the repair bar kind of stays up if I leave it, but like it goes down if the guy comes over here and blacks it. Um, I think. I only say that because I saw the killer over there thwacking away. Ah, shit, butts. Mamma mia. We're not, not off to a great start, I don't think. Uh, we're just getting, uh, ganked left and right. Oh, God. Oh, my. The horror of it all. Oh, Jesus. Go away, please. I don't, I don't have any problems with you. I'm going to go help my hung-up friends. Can I do that? That seems nice. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, shit, butts. Ah, no! Get away! Ah, oh, crap! I missed them right in time once again. This is awful. Absolutely terrible. A nightmare. Just fucked up beyond all reason. Oh my god. What a mess! I'm not gonna come out and say that I deserve better than this, but I deserve better than this. Wait a second, am I about to... Oh, why can't I recover all the way? This is uh, just a, a goddamn travesty. Sorry, Sybil. Uh, things aren't looking too good. Uh, oh me, oh my. Uh... What do you mean, find help? There's no help to find. Everybody's dead. Yes, help me die so I can move on to the next game. That seems uh, like the way to go. Uh, there it is. I did the best I could. This haggard asshole is whacking me with his stick. Eh. Man, fuck it. I gotta pee. Be right back.
Ah, shit. I blacked out the whole thing somehow. Whoops. I done botched the technology. Oh, well. All right. Let's try that again. Oh, I still have the stuff in my loadout. Okay. How nice. Uh, can I throw something here? Oh, why not? I don't know anything about anything. I, how you say, don't know shit about fuck. I said it before, and I felt like uh, that asshole at the end of a Zoom call. Where it's like, does anybody have any questions? And there's like uh, 40 people just sitting there, like dead silent. Uh, how's everyone's evening? How's everything going? Uh, I uh, have not streamed in a while, and this is my first time streaming under uh, the banner of the Cerulean Skies, which is a little gaming collective started up by uh, some friends, both new and old, and it has been a delight so far. If you enjoy talking about these things or want to get involved in any way, I highly recommend shooting us a follow on the Twitter and jumping into our Discord and having a little chit-chat. Uh, we have been... Quite active, actually, since the get-go, which has been really awesome. Um, so, yeah, appreciation to everyone who has decided to stop in and uh, give it a watch. Look at that, a full party straight out the gate. Mamma mia. I can already tell they're professionals. I don't even know what different characters do, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, all I do is run, crouch, and die. Uh, so if any of these characters have a special ability uh, that doesn't involve simply doing that, uh, maybe this little uh, witchy girl can cast a spell, or uh, maybe this uh, cyberpunk ninja can run on the walls or some shit. Uh, that would be really tight. I think Jake Park is probably in the same boat as I am. Just uh, normie in the woods. All right, all right, we're we're all we're all readied up. Uh, we really have to wait fifty five seconds to launch the match. That seems uh, a bit excessive in terms of seconds. Wow, look at all these prizes. Are they prizes? Uh, stigmata, um, some salami. Uh, I don't know what the other shit was. I have a good feeling about this one. Yeah, and I'm just going to keep saying that until it, uh, you know, uh, works out.
It's a, we call it a positive self-fulfilling prophecy. The Grim Pantry. Sounds horrifying. And it is. Uh, it's definitely delivering. Uh, I don't really know what the pantry part of this equation is, but it is quite grim. Uh, one cannot argue about the, the grimness of this pantry. Uh, another day on the generator repair trail. It's really impressive that you've got all of these uh, strangers in the middle of some uh, horrifying environment, and all of them are quite proficient at generator repair. Uh, I think if I were to try my hand at this without the proper tools, we'd probably be sitting about 48 to 72 hours at a bare minimum. So uh, this, what, two to three minutes that we've got on each is... Pretty respectable. What's that green shit in there? Is that absinthe? Nickelodeon gap? All right. We've done it. We're in. It's on like Donkey Kong. You're all the way over there. So, don't go in the direction of the screams, is what I'm gathering. Uh, just gonna walk around here on the outskirts. Just uh, stay the fuck away from whatever's happening over there. Through the, the brush and the weeds. A uh, little uh, hot dog trees. Okay, what do I do with this? I don't know, but I'm going to click on it. Now I gotta be, uh, shameless and admit that I turned back seating aloud on because, uh, once again, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Uh, so, if anybody has some color commentary on how to suck less, uh, it is absolutely welcome and even encouraged. Because, uh, now all I do is repair generator. Repair generator, go burr. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, see, all right, there we go. Hey, I got you. Look at that. We're best friends now. Not only am I a uh, esteemed generator repairman, I'm also at the very least, a registered nurse. Oh? Let's see if we can get our pal off of this stupid little hook. Oh, no. There's a little bastard over there. Uh... I don't know what uh, this little symbol on the right of my screen means, literally at all. Uh, yes, I've got my uh, PhD in crouching and dying. Because it was the only way to escape the student loans.
Yeah, uh, there's something to be said about stability, and uh, there's no greater promise than crouching and dying, especially if you spend your uh, your hours in the Grim Pantry and other like places, the weird, creepy bastards like this guy. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, you can just let me repair it. I really appreciate that, actually. Um, that was one of my favorite things uh, ever. Um, I'm going to just keep running around. I don't know why he's hitting the wall instead of me. That seems uh, ill-advised, but uh, here we are. And as someone who also breathes through their skin, uh, I, I trust Kojima with my life. The only game where it's accept, uh, perfectly acceptable to be a bald man creeping through the pussy willows. Something about that uh, doesn't sit right in most other multiplayer environments, but this one perfectly fine. Up, oh, yep. Uh, it's a. Uh, I already know what that sound means. Uh, can I go in here? Look at that. Aha! Uh -huh. Honestly, I would carry boxes around for Kojima all goddamn day. All right, party people. Oh, my. I don't know what the thunder means, but I know for a fact that it can't be good. Uh, let's see. Where's the last generator? I'd really like to find it and actually win one of these games for once. Oh, shit. Where is he? Where is he? I can hear him, but I don't see him. I can hear him. Uh, be coming in the general direction of the, the whole gang over here? Uh, because that would be a little bit shit. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> You're carrying the friends we made along the way. Okay, all right, okay. Hey, we did it! I'll be damned. Now, why is everybody over there? I don't know how much more obvious it is that the door is over here. Um... Uh... Kind of straightforward. Uh, in here, we die. Out there, we don't. Yeah, I should go get this, uh, this little, little thing. Hey, oh, that's, that's not a, it's not a guy at all. It's a, it's a totem? Oh, well, what are we fucking waiting for? Come on, let's gig it. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not waiting around like this. I'm not. I will not be the fool. Oh, yeah. Oh, are we taunting him now? 
Finally. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Unbelievable. Just became a gamer in real time. And you were here to see it. Amazing. Let's uh, ready up and do that again. That seems uh, lucrative. I think we're on to something now. Phenomenal. Exceptional. Uh, I'm at the top of my game. Inconceivable. Majestic. Many people are saying this. All right, so uh, we got a we got a couple more in us this evening, I think. Really gotta see if I can. Uh, oh, I can. Uh, I don't know what this does, but I can equip it. So I did. Um, oh, I see what I did here. I just equipped all of the quote-unquote rarest things. It's not a bad play. Oh, I just started Jedi Fallen Order a couple weeks ago, and I've been slow rolling through, like, a bunch of games at once, so I have made almost no progress whatsoever. Uh, but I enjoy it so far. Ugh. I like that they haven't really skimped on the difficulty, um, but it's kind of like a... Well, it's got the Soulsy sort of bits to it, but it's a little more platformy, which is cool. All of the sort of uh, blocking, uh, bullet bouncing business is really entertaining. Really well done. I wish I was that way. Um, that's how I was with Elden Ring. And then I have kind of been chasing that high ever since. And it's just really not quite clicked for me. I keep picking up something different, like, every couple weeks. Yeah, they really did. Uh, the experience uh, is really solid. It's, I don't know, it's streamlined. It doesn't feel like there are too many systems in place, but the game doesn't feel simple either. I need to spend a little more time with it for sure. Yeah, right now, uh, I mean, I was playing a bunch of, like, kind of multiplayer stuff, Monster Hunter and uh, V Rising and, God, a bunch of other stuff at once. Um, I just started Soul Hackers on the 3DS a couple weeks ago and haven't really made a lot of progress just because it's uh, life, but... Um, I would really like to get through that before the second one comes out. Um, and I've still got a shit ton of stuff on my shelf that I've literally not even opened and I feel uh, less than great about. So that's why when things like the PlayStation Plus thing drop today and I'm sitting there like, hmm, do I want to look into that? I'm like, well, why would I do that? I've literally uh, spoiled for choice. Uh, with things that I could be playing. And honestly, half the time I spend my, like, idle moments just playing gotcha shit on my phone, which I really have to get out of the habit of, but... 
extremely good for uh, just mindless daily bullshit and kind of moving on kind of scratches a very specific itch. All right. Unite the Dwight. Yeah, Strike Force has kind of been my ship for the past six months. Um, I finally spent money on it the other day, which I told myself I was never going to do, but I needed a level up material, and farming it would have taken days at a minimum, so I just, uh, I just bought 20 of them for five bucks, but, um, oh, I never got Spider Punk. Uh, Magic was my, uh, my numero uno. That was, uh, who I kind of spent all of my efforts towards getting, and I kind of thought, okay, as soon as I get her, I know myself, and I'm probably just gonna stop playing the game. Um, which I haven't done yet. Um, but yeah, I have been cycling through that and Grand Blue and Fate Grand Order and uh, Counterside. And God knows what else. Arc Knights a little bit here and there. Really, whatever. Uh, flavor hits me whenever I've picked up my phone and I'm like half asleep. Yeah, getting a decent character on a random drop feels really good in that game. Um, like I got Polaris really early on and she's one of my other favorites, so I was like, that's kind of what sold me on continuing to play, where I was like, oh, okay, uh, I actually have a character that I like know and like, so that was what pushed me over the edge for a little while. Oh, God, thank you, Dwight. Yeah, it's just, uh... It's got a good balance of keeping you on the line by giving you, like, little trickles of, uh, shit. Um... Not literal shit, but, you know. Um... But at the same time, it's also a little frustrating because drop rates are so low because there are so many options. Um... I'm just, uh, yeah, gonna go away from that right now. You got Moon Knight? Oh, shit. I would have been stoked to get Moon Knight. Uh, Deadpool early on from, I think, one of the planned drops. Uh, I did luck out and get Thor. Uh, I think my current go-to uh, has been... Uh, Magic, Elsa Bloodstone, Polaris, Captain Marvel, and, uh, Moon Dragon. Because, uh, she has a solid couple of healing options, and that was the first, like, higher star character I got. Yeah, Strange Supreme looks pretty sick. I've got normal Strange, and it's taken me forever to level him up. I think the one thing that really gets me with that game above the other ones, and I think maybe it's to my benefit because I spend less time with it, uh, is the fact that stamina is such a pain in the ass. I mean, with Grand Blue, I pretty much never have to worry about stamina because I've got stamina refill items out the wazoo. Um, so I can just play for however long I want, but Strike Force, you kind of peter out after like 20 minutes. Oh, nice. Yeah, Captain Marvel is uh, solid in the game. I think I'm like level 62. Yeah, early on, it really does a good job uh, roping you in based solely on the fact that uh, you have more than enough resources to do anything all the time um and then there's kind of like a a bit of a cutoff point it feels like where it gets way harder to do a lot uh like there's a point where i ran out of money and then i started getting more money by doing the dailies and then now it's stamina and 
I don't know, every other resource you need to get random shit. Um, but that's, uh, that's where the mobile games get you, I suppose. I'm sure I could spend my time doing something more productive, but here we are. Yeah, I started playing uh, Langrisser Mobile as well, uh, as just kind of a a little uh, boot, kind of filling the gap that Fire Emblem Heroes took for me for a little bit. Ooh, Bob Delnut, my good pal. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, I have immediately been killed by the spider. I didn't even get the chance to not get killed by the spider. What is that shit? Uh, how long have I been playing? Uh, have I been playing now? About an hour and a half. Uh, overall, not very good. Not long. Uh, I never play long enough to gain any particular set of skills in it. And uh, by the time I pick it up again, I have forgotten everything I learned the last time I played it. So here we are. Fire Emblem Heroes was the singular gacha game that I stayed on uh, for a really, really long time before I got deep into Grand Blue. Um, I haven't played it in a while, but there's a part of me that's kind of a sucker for portrait mode mobile games for ease of handling, because all phones nowadays are huge. Um, and almost every other game on mobile is like landscape which hurts my hand yeah heroes is good it's got a good set of characters uh it's got a decent pull rate not astounding but they at least kind of there are ways to kind of finesse it to the best of your ability um oh the one the only bob dog nut has followed the channel Amazing. Amazing, indeed. Greatly appreciated, my kind sir. This game has made me really want to try uh, the Evil Dead game because uh, it looks kind of like this, but with a little bit more of an active uh, combat plan. I guess. I don't know much about it, but the little bit that I've seen looks very appealing, and I love those movies, so it seems like it could be a good time. And yeah, uh, the characters that they get in this really are uh, pretty astounding. I remember getting this right when it launched, which I guess was maybe 2016 or 2017, and it was kind of low-key. Um and I played it like three or four times back then and then was like, eh, didn't dislike it, but just kind of like wasn't fully sold. And they have come a long way in the past however many years, especially with the character tie-ins. That's what's really impressive for sure. Like all of the major movie tie-ins and stuff. Like I've I've been killed by Michael Myers and... Ghostface and the Cenobite and a couple other random things all in one night, uh, which is cool. As someone who really, really uh, loves horror movies and has kind of been down that hole for years now, it's cool to have a game that does feel a little bit like a love letter to all of those things um, and also has a really solid player base. And I think that's kind of what made me start appreciating it more, is uh, its sort of commitment to the genre. Yeah, you should definitely give it a whirl. Um, I've got it on PlayStation as well. I think it was free at one point in time or something. Um, and I think it's on Game Pass 
also, or it was for a while at least. Uh, it's pretty accessible right now. Accessible in terms of actually being able to play it. I don't know uh, how accessible it is to actually get into it and get decent. Um, that's a great question. Uh, someone else might be able to answer that. Um, I feel like it is, but I'm not positive. Like, this seems like a game that would be cross-platform, because it's not, it doesn't feel like it would be uh, really marred by, you know, kind of any sort of, like, inequality between controller and, like, keyboard and mouse or any of the other things. Yeah, we absolutely should. Um, I got super into it kind of close to the end of last year, um, and then just kind of fell off of it by way of other games, I guess. Um, and this is the first time I've played it since then. Um, it's definitely a really solid pick-up-and-play game, at least for me, just because it's really easy to get into a match and just kind of go for it. Um, that being said, it can also be incredibly frustrating because you can spawn and fucking die. Um, like what's about to probably happen to me right now. Um, I'm just going to keep being cheeky, I guess. Is this, uh... Ah, shit. Yep, that's just games. Especially multiplayer shit. I never get good at games like this. I mean, I never really get good at anything that's like multiplayer, uh, you know, games as a service type. Just because I don't have the patience uh, or the attention span that a lot of other folks do. Uh, I'm just never the person that's like, oh, I clocked 500,000 hours in this game. Um, because I... M2 ADD. Um, but there are so many games that I just like to see, and Twitch is really good for that too, just throwing something random on and being like, this looks interesting, I want to play it. Um, and streaming again at all always kind of gets me to be like, ooh, do I want to try out this, that, or something else? Uh, I've only played as the killer like twice, honestly. Um, so that's a great question. Uh, I've really only played as Survivor, and the few times I played as the killer, I was, like, so woefully unprepared for it in comparison that I was just giving out free wins. Aw. Serial killer has pride flags all over their uh, murder pylon. What a delight. Yeah. Come one, come all. We got free wins, baby. I'm just handing them out. Does anyone remember uh, Dr. Tran handing out hot pickings? Is that too niche of old internet content? I don't know. But that's what that's making me think of. Yes. He's just giving them out. Hot dickings. For free. Yeah, I wonder if that still exists somewhere. Uh, my little sister sent me that uh, Aisha song from E-Bomb's World uh, earlier today, and I was like, this has not naturally existed anywhere near my brain in 
at least 15 years. Uh, totally forgot that existed. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh god, I can't even get up there. This is bullshit. It's, uh, oh, it's all bad now. There's, uh, haha! Please leave me be. I feel like I need to do this. Uh, oh, shit. You done puked on me. Oh, I love Justin Wang's channel. I That's my, like, go-to. I'm eating a bowl of cereal and need to turn on something for 15 minutes. Watch some deep dive old internet shit. Now they ran away from me like I had COVID. Oh yeah, it's the best. Uh, it's like comfort, it's like nightmare comfort, honestly. Uh, just the origins of the most cursed bullshit. Like equal parts horror and nostalgia. It's brilliant. Oh my god, the jars. Every kind of jar. The internet never should have gotten a hold of jars. Couldn't be trusted with jars. Jars in, jars out, jars full. Alright, I need to not be the way that I am at this immediate moment in time. Oh. Jars out for Harambe, baby. I got sunburned as shit. My legs are itching up a storm. With my complexion, I'm like a shoe in for skin cancer. I will never, ever forget getting sunburn, drafting modern masters, indoors, guy light sunburn, playing Magic the Gathering at the fucking Sheraton. A true certified gamer moment. Amazing. Oh. Hey! Those are battle scars. The scars remind us that the draft was real. Yeah, it was a... Uh, kind of, uh like a, a point of shameful pride like listen to how ridiculous this is but then kind of like cringing in on yourself when you realize exactly what you're offering up to to people okay why are we uh running circles around uh the murder lady uh what's going on what is going on she's just gonna puke on you um are we going yet Okay, are we going? Where are we going? When are we going? Um, okay, this is getting a, a, a bit much. Uh, uh, well, I guess I decided to fucking leave.
We'll call it a win. All right. <laughs> the cringe horizon. All right, let's see if we can knock out another one of these. We're kind of on a roll now. Like, I know we've just gotten greased up, and I've only got, like, so much time left before the night is up, but, uh... We'll call that a solid warm-up. Maybe next time I'll be all lubed up and ready to go. Yeah, that was, uh, honestly, uh, one of the more impressive moments of my, uh, untouchable card game addiction. Yo, I would draft some double masters. Um, yeah, that one, I... The wallet says no, but the heart says yes. Yeah, I was just talking to someone earlier today about buying a case of the new flesh and blood set and i almost pressed the checkout button um before i let my monday senses take hold of me Yeah, I uh, did some really severe damage to my wallet in the peak of my uh, magic problem. But maturity and financial stability in some capacity, have allowed me to uh, fall back down that hole, and I am trying to climb down now, rather than diving headfirst to the bottom of a well. Oh, yeah, I... Uh, selling out of the game uh, and keeping only a modern deck and my EDH stuff, uh, I was really ashamed at how little money I made back. Um, and that's exactly where I was like, okay, we really got to take this a day at a time. Yeah, I really want that set. I want to build that, uh, witch commander so hard. That is so deeply my shit. Yes. I need to stop building into black and blue, but uh, I am sold. I might just save the money and get like a really sick, like uh, alt art version of the card or something instead of buying a box. But yeah, I I want that. Yeah. Damn, ice cream and soda, you gotta put them together. Yeah, see, Flabian Knight uh, knows this all too well, that I got back into magic telling myself, this is a singles-only operation for me. Uh, I just uh, not playing the lottery anymore. And then I went to one pre-release, and I was like, fuck it, we're buying a box, let's go. Uh, and I've been riding that wave ever since, and 
I think when I realized that I was not really in it for uh, – when I started taking value out of the equation, as stupid as that sounds, um, and I start going all in just saying, I like to open packs, uh, then I was like, okay, I'll call fun the justification of it. You know, uh, you only live once or something, we're all going to die at some point. And being on Earth is troublesome enough. We might as well uh, pepper in a little bit of uh, dopamine wherever we can get it. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, if somebody could say, you can open packs of cards forever, or you can play card games forever, I think I would pick opening packs, uh, if I'm being real. Like, shiny card go burr. Hard to say no. It is legal gambling for nerds. Absolutely. And, you know, you pick your poison. It's booster packs or loot boxes or... Rolling the gotcha in whatever nightmare game you've chosen to play. Uh, it's, yeah, it, or all of them. You know, I'm not here to judge. Live your life. Oh! Expedition Scalding Tarn, Mamma Mia Pizzeria. I would have shit my britches on the spot. My best pack of all time uh, was a non-foil Vendillion click into a foil Tarmogoyf. And I think I soiled myself a little bit. I am admittedly curious about Yu-Gi-Oh!, um, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! when it first released in the U.S. religiously, and then I fell off of it really hard. Um, and now the only experience I have with the game is, like, the one that came out on Steam. But I do find it intriguing. Um, and I think it's just because I like having a constant rotation of card games that I kind of have access to. Uh, because I have a sort of bizarre schedule of when I can go out and do cool shit at night. So it would be nice to have, like, a card game that I can play any day of the week. Uh, I've also been buying into the Digimon card game a little bit, which... Uh, I have not actually played, but the cards are so insanely high quality that it's hard to say no to it just from like a visual perspective. Like they've got some kind of like uh, textured foils, which are really dope. And it's all like original art for the most part too, which I really appreciate instead of a lot of the anime tie-in card games that are just like glorified screenshots. Yeah, it's 100 degrees. Uh, it's hot as balls today. I hear this dipshit, but I don't see him. Oh, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Stupid. Oh, nope. I'm getting greedy now. Yeah, I'll be honest, uh, when I was a little kid, I used to make my mom throw my ice cream in the microwave for like uh, 20 seconds for ice cream soup. Uh, and looking back, that's just really, uh, I can't tell if I was on to something or just uh, exactly what I was, which was like a little uh, tubby gamer child.
goblin mode. Oh my guy, thank you. I don't know how to say thank you in game, but I'm sending those vibes out to the universe. Dude, cold ice cream soup. Isn't that, uh, what's that, creme anglaise? That's basically what that is. Ah! Yeah, or a milkshake. Yeah, that's like... You just put the milkshake in a bowl, and I guess you have cold ice cream soup. Yes. See? Innovation starts at home. Uh, this is just making me want some fucking ice cream. This is... All right, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, one down, and the whole crew is dead. Maybe. Uh, well, he's not dead, but I have a feeling he might be dead soon. Okay. All right, come here, chief. Come on. Uh, no, come here. God damn it, man. I'm trying to do you a solid. God, I pray to thee, smile down upon mine soup. Spell out your message in my alphabet noodles. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Maybe. Okay. I got you, Mr. Cool Jacket. Damn. Gonna make mac and cheese while the ice cream re-ices? That's an efficiency operation if I've ever seen it. I hear him coming, but I don't know from where. Uh -huh. Oh, he over there. I'm getting the fuck out of here. This. Oh. Shit! Ah, fuck! Uh -huh, I'm over here, asshole. Oh yeah, shells and cheese. You gotta get on that Velveeta grind. No hot dogs. Okay, thank you, Totally Chill 839. No hot dogs. Shit. 
chilly dogs. Alright, come on. That's the last one, actually. Are we gonna end the night on a win? Oh my god. I'm a sriracha in the mac and cheese person. Something to cut the richness. Little zip. But I think, I'm not going to speak too soon, but I think we got this. Oh shit, balls. What's up, asshole? Tuna. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, let's go. All right, everybody, gather around. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, get no, uh uh. Sorry, Chief. But it was me or you, and I chose me. Hey, I did something. I got an achievement. Gamer mode, let's go. Amazing. Hey, cool. Uh, so I've reached my 10 o'clock cutoff, and uh, that means I will be handing over the channel to whoever may come next, and if that someone is no one, I cannot guarantee one way or the other. Uh, thank you very much for watching, for playing, and uh, yeah, for spending a couple hours watching me die. Uh, if you like, please follow Cerulean Skies on Twitter. Uh, please take a moment to join our Discord, where we talk about various things, and uh, potentially you can get involved in contributing and all that jazz as well. Um, yeah, you can also follow me. My personal uh, links are right there next to my face. And otherwise, yeah, greatly appreciated. Thanks, everybody, for coming by. And yeah, I will be back to do this again soon. Peace out. Sleep tight, everybody. Have a good evening. Yeah, I literally just finished. But good night, y'all. Catch you later.